five, four, three, two, one, go. 34 left, opens 50, right of a jump maybe, into six left, 30, slow four left, into unseen one right, opens, keep right of 80, unseen four left, 30, five left, 60 over bumps, caution, one left unseen, into unseen hairpin right narrow, into five left, 30, four right, into three left, into two right tightens, 30, cut, three left long tightens, into hairpin left, unseen. Keep left of a 30, caution don't cut, four right, four left, into unseen, one right small cut, Four left, keep right of a 30, caution, unseen hairpin left. Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial for the Simple Sim Racing Handbrake. This is the software aspect of things. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Arduino IDE if you're using a AT Mega board or an Arduino Micro. So let's get started here. The first thing you want to do is install this joystick library from Amherinumius, however you say that. It's the Arduino joystick library. Just scroll down, follow these installation instructions. You basically download the master.zip. You're going to go to sketch, um, include library, manage libraries, or add a zip library, I guess. And then click and drag the downloaded file here. And then you should find your contributed libraries. Joystick should show up. Now the second thing you're going to want to do, if you're using a AT Mega board only, which is a very common Arduino Pro Micro copy, is you're going to want to come to this website here. It's linked on the Thingiverse page. You're going to want to scroll down, copy this link here, go to, let's see here, 
tools, board, and then you want to go board manager, or sorry, file, preferences, and then an additional boards managers URL. You're going to want to add the link that we just copied there. Click OK, and under your boards manager, you should be able to find the SparkFun AVR boards. You're going to want to install that, and this is only again if you're using the ATmega 32U4. And then if you are using the ATmega 32U4, you're going to want to select Pro Micro or whatever board you have that fits that specification. And you want to make sure you're on the right voltage. So my board is a 5 volt 16 megahertz, so I'm going to select that. And this will just make sure that your, your board gets coded properly. So here is the coding segment of this video. Uh, you can just download this code from my GitHub. Uh, I'm not going to explain what's going on here. You can just copy down the code or chat GPT it. And you can figure out what all this does. Uh, and if you need to, you can change these four variables here. Uh, there's directions on what they all do here. So once you're ready to upload the code to your Arduino, uh, you just find which COM port yours is. So if you look here, if I unplug the Arduino, you'll see that my COM port 10 disappears from my hardware manager here. When I plug it back in, you'll see it reappears. So I know that this Arduino here is connected on COM port 10. So I need to make sure I select COM 10. I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to search for the SparkFun Pro Micro board. If you're using a Pro Micro SparkFun board, of course. I'm going to click OK. And upload. Give it a couple of seconds. It'll disconnect from your computer. Reconnect. And then you can search up the game controller settings on your uh, Windows 10 PC. As you can see here, as I pull the handbrake back, the throttle increases, and as I put it back down, throttle decreases. So now I can decrease these start and end values. Again, you can read what they do here. Just decrease them both to 900. Upload this again. You can see we got it like a little bit of throttle. Had a little bit of throttle on our handbrake. So reducing the start value should just get rid of that. So now we can go settings, calibrate, Next, next, next. Display raw data. So now you can see our throttle's at 0%. I'll have to pull it a little bit before it starts detecting any throttle. And then it'll end, get to 100%, even though I can pull the handbrake back a little bit more because I reduced the end value and the start value. Anyway, thank you for watching.